morning, everyone. This is Rocco coming at you. We are headed on our way to Michigan. Um, so you can see I'm at 100%. It was 307 miles, and it was still not done. So it definitely would have been 307 to 308 miles. Uh, it was balanced in the pack, but I wanted to go ahead and leave. I'm already like 15 minutes behind when I wanted to leave, but that's okay. What we're gonna do here is we'll see if full self driving behaves differently. Um, on a hundred percent charge now, Obviously, I think you can see here. Well, as you know, you can't my video <laughs> apologize for the poor video quality and I but it's what I have uh, There's still a region bar here um, So we're gonna see how that performs my GPS is locked on this morning The car's been well the car's been awake. I guess all morning because it's been charging um, Yeah, this is gonna be our test route uh, to so yeah, but the backtrack a little bit as you can probably be aware I haven't made a video in a while um, been very busy um, getting house stuff done preparing for the Blue Ridge Parkway Tesla drive I'm not sure if that video is going to come before or after this probably after um, I haven't made a video in a couple weeks and yeah see it's I'm pressing on the accelerator just a little bit just so it like wouldn't waste energy like that's the thing like perhaps that shouldn't matter that much yeah it's doing very well getting on this very good merge so this is uh if i didn't obviously the title you can see it this is um 10 that 11 not 2 um, I did not get that update at the same time as everyone else because my car is in service. Uh, if you guys have um, been with me, you saw I had a, um, uh, what am I trying to say, had a uh, service matches for, it's called the VC front controller had failed, or not necessarily failed, it said inspect, but definitely it um, had issues. Uh, so they replaced it and got that ordeal sorted out. Um, so for a week there, I couldn't record any videos, and the update came out the literal, like, hour I got it put into service mode, so I couldn't install the update. So, unfortunately, I had to wait, and it just randomly came up, like, a week after I got it out of service, or, like, two weeks later, I got it. Um, but it seems like we're supposed to get another update next week, so we'll see how that goes. Yeah. Unfortunately, probably a lot of energy. Get it over way too late. I talked with a couple locals. You guys know who you are. Um, at the Parkway Drive this past weekend, uh, that have gotten off this exit as well, and they both agree with me that you have to get off because what happens is you're slowing down, and then a truck comes up behind you, it's tailgating you, and it wants to keep on going and not slow down. And your car slowing down in the highway instead of like getting off the exit ramp, then slowing down, or slowing down like to the speed limit, immediately getting onto the exit ramp, and then slowing down further. But it slows down to like 55 on the highway instead of the you know get off the exit ramp. So we have the best odds possible of this being a good drive today, just because <laughs> if you look at the traffic, <laughs> there's no one around. So hopefully that's a good sign for us, but we'll see. Whoa, okay. I don't know why that dude's walking his bike. 
at this time in this three. I did not see that guy. The car saw him first. Um, honestly, I don't know why you don't just walk it on the sidewalk. Like, there's a sidewalk there. Walk it on the sidewalk. I, I don't know. Regardless, the car saw that guy before I did. I did not see that guy with a bike in the road. Um, I would have saw him before I got to, I'm sure. I probably would have swerved around him, but yeah, that's, um, that was good. That's, that's why the car is always aware. Uh, I was always able to see things like that. That's another Tesla. It's rare enough to see a Tesla around here. We're at one, one six a.m. in the morning. Anything thing is always at this corner, everyone. Uh, now it might be slowing speed a little bit quicker than it has previously, but it might have been because this dude was walking on the road on definitely the wrong side of the road, because this is only one way. Um, or it could have been going around the corner, I'm not sure. Oh, I bet we're gonna fail it unless this light changes here. Also, we're, the speed limit hasn't changed and it's 20 in here. Now turn right onto North King Street. Change, change, change. No, it's not gonna change, we're gonna fail. Because it can't read the no right on red. Yep, that sucks. <laughs> I don't know why it's not green there hasn't been anyone going by but that's annoying now this guy is probably gonna go is he gonna walk through the crosswalk or is he gonna okay I'm not having to press the accelerator for the intersection because it's clearly too hesitant with that person there but um so obviously one disengagement for a silly reason but a disengagement nonetheless. But um, what we're looking for is this turn up here. I've done it once on this update. So I got this update uh, installed the night before the Blue Ridge Parkway Drive. Uh, and yeah, it'll be interesting. So on 10.11.1, actually, so I tried to break for those flashing yellows. Let's see if we can get through this green light before it changes. Um, so on 10.11.1, Yeah, see, that was weird behavior. I don't like that. It was changing lanes in the middle of an intersection, and there was a car there, and it's like, yeah. If that was a police car, I wouldn't have let it done that, for sure. Um, it's like, is it illegal? No. Is it best practice? No. Uh, but 11.1 is what I'm trying to say. Uh, the version before this one. Uh, basically, did this oh, magically got better. Like, you know how uh, further up ahead on this route, uh, we have... Um, the turn. Whoa, wait. That's weird. It, like, it corrected itself. So I'm having to press the accelerator so it doesn't stop the blinking yellow. Uh, 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 oh, I thought I was going to do it completely. So, I'm going to do another camera snapshot because that was wrong. Uh, it did it disengage. Obviously, it made it. Um, but I don't always let it make that. That was not a disengagement here. We're just making a quick pit stop here. And we are back. Quick little pit stop there. This is normal for every time on this test trial we're going off here. I still think automatic brights could be better. I always turn them off on these roads because there's so many cars that you just, you can't, uh, you can't enjoy the brights being on because they just go on and off constantly and then they flash people. Just not great yet. I feel like if it sees at the lower horizon any ball of light that is not green obviously or red like this thing up here or yellow, then it should turn off the lights. But obviously it's a much more complicated issue. So you notice it fixed that turn lane. Uh, well maybe fix is not the right word. Uh, We'll see the next couple ones. This one it never fails at. Uh, it's the next turn lane where it fails. And so 10 out 11 out one had a follow car though. So that might have been why it didn't fail. So we'll see. It's going to... Look at that. Look. It did, it did it right. Either they saw my video. Tesla, if you're watching, I appreciate fixing these issues. Uh, like, it shouldn't do that. It shouldn't just swerve in the turn lanes. Um, 
Is it dangerous? Potentially, if you're not paying attention. Uh, it just, like, it needs to be able to see the turn lane. And it's doing much better now. Look at that. Like, this is the best. Again, 10.11.1 did this one time. The first time I did it, did not do it. But um, I did do it last time. And 10.11.2 continues that trend, which is awesome. We have one more turn, though. Um, if it makes this next, uh, if it makes it through this next uh, left turn without going into it, um, I'd say this is the best this drive has ever been. Um, now it has obviously not zero disengagements because we got unlucky and got the right on red. But in terms of like finally not going into the turn lanes uh, and everything else like that. We'll see, here's here's our spot. It's obviously a little bit hesitant. Oh. No, okay. Gonna have to disengage everyone. It very much went in and turned lane there. And thankfully I didn't do that when the police car was there. <laughs> uh, that was what just passed us. I was make sure it turns here. So not the best good drive it's ever done, but close. Very close. It's back in the right direction. It's back in the right direction. So again, everyone, this is going to be the end of this drive. Uh, if you have questions for me, put them down below. I am going to be doing some a bunch of video. Well, not a bunch, but some videos in Michigan. I'm hoping to get one with my grandparents. See how they think my uncle. Get their impression, first impressions. He's never. They've never. They've been in the Tesla autopilot, but they have never been in it with full self driving. So I'll be very curious for how they perceive that experience. Um, yeah, again, I appreciate you guys watching as always, and I will see you in the next video. Bye, everyone.